Hello guys, today we got something different. On your left, 17 caliber, and on your right, 22 caliber. The left one is a 17 caliber Benjamin Marauder. That is a filled and target version. And on our right here is a 22 caliber Benjamin Armada. Giving you a quick look over that. The only difference between these, our Marauder is regulated since it is the filled and target version, and our Armada is non regulated. But today's testing, and overall in general, our Armada right there, we'll just zoom in on that, get our action and focus there. Our Armada has been tuned. I have a couple hills parts installed into it. It's not truly stock. There are a couple aftermarket parts installed on it. So, I didn't use those aftermarket parts for power. I simply used them instead of, well, putting a regulator in our bottle to flatten out our shot string a little bit. It's only like $25 worth of parts. Transfer port, couple springs. That's all that was. And I, I'll, I'll state it just for stating it. We do have an ATN on our Amada, and we have a 4 to 16 center point on our Marauder. However, today's question deals nothing about accuracy. Both of these rifles will outshoot me easily and they are capable of outshooting most shooters 25 yards if if you were to put both of these in a lead sled a little bit over one jagged hole and we'll walk you over the what we're shooting at over here let's get this in the frame what we're dealing with is right here is our 177 Crossman Premier hollow point pellets, 7.9 grains, and on our right are our, whoops, sometimes my fingers don't work, 22 caliber Crossman Premier hollow points. Sheet of paper right there simply states off the numbers. These are our factual numbers. So our 177 cal, 7.9 grains, or 22 is 14.3. On my scale, I have a Lyman digital scale. 22 actually rounds up to 14.4. I decided to disregard that as that very well could depend on lot number. Let's get back on topic. Both rifles feature 10 round magazines as shown right here little bit size difference you can see there but getting one disclaimer out of the way here all data for this was recorded at 70 degrees Fahrenheit 900 feet altitude with a humidity of 50 percent that covers a baseline temperature today I think we're actually at 72 degrees and humidity is definitely up a bit it's closer to about 70 yada yada the changes are so small and this was just to give a baseline comparison anyways 22 caliber has 81 percent more mass 14.3 grains over 7.9 that is 81 percent more take that what you will take that for surface area whenever we're talking about surface area here we Let's see, yep, that is in frame. We're talking about the diameter of the projectile. So we got those close enough together right there. Now we'll just cut over the camera, focus in on that later on. 177 cal has 0 .0885 inches of surface area where the 22 caliber has 0.11 inches of surface area. 
That equates to 24.3% more surface area for the 22 cal. So it's about a quarter percent more larger in diameter. Or we, we can't say diameter. The area of the diameter of the projectile. Just shy of being a quarter bigger. Our velocity and energy. 17 cal. We are shooting at 872 feet a second for 13.34 foot-pounds. Can you jump that up? Yes. This is another caveat. 177, very easy to get shooting into the 900s and even into the thousands. I have a couple 177s that will shoot these at over 11 and over 1,200 feet a second. You get no accuracy doing that. This is a real world if you want an accurate 7.9 gram pellet. 900 is going to be roughly your top limits. 920, really, is where you're going to want to not push it too much harder. We're shooting at 872. This is the field and target marauder. So it is regulated, so I can't open up the power more than what it's available for. Topping this thing out with our transfer port only lets us shoot at around 900 feet a second. We turned that down a little bit. Uh, I found the pellets to be more accurate, a little bit slower than 900. Energy wise, makes up almost no difference. We'll get to that later on. 22 caliber, our Armada has been turned to 854 feet a second. Slightly hotter than factory and definitely way less than a max open transfer and a full hammer spring will get you. That is giving us 23.15 foot pounds of energy. The 22 provides 73.5% more foot pounds of energy, whereas her 177 pellet is going 2.1% faster out of the muzzle. Now we're getting in the drag coefficients right here our GABC for 177 caliber is 0 .0229 and our GABC for 22 caliber is 0 .0225. These have been measured over the course of a couple days at a range of 25 yards from the muzzle. Being that 177 is a higher BC and is traveling faster, it will produce less downrange drop. Both of these rifles are sighted at 25 yards. Let me point that out. It'll produce less drop though the amount of drop very small we'll get to that so as we're getting to that 25 yards or 177 is now going 756 feet a second or getting us 10 foot pounds of energy for my UK viewers out there this is more your lines of what you guys are working with with your 12 foot pound limit without getting a fac 22 cal 741 feet a second or getting 17.4 foot pounds of energy this leaves us or 22 is two percent faster again and our 22 or let me take that back here 17 cal is two percent faster 22 caliber now has 74 percent more foot pounds of energy really you're seeing no difference at 25 yards than what we're seeing at muzzle going to 50 yards 17 caliber 665 feet a second 7.8 foot pounds 22 caliber 652 feet a second for 13.3 uh 13.5 foot pounds this 17 cal again two percent faster that very slight bc has not really pulled 
any velocity advantage that's measurable for us. It is measurable on paper. In the real world, you're not going to notice that extra 10, 15 feet a second. It's, no. Our 22 now has 73% more foot-pounds of energy. This is starting to show a little bit of your energy gap due to a drag coefficient saying 1% difference 1% 1 of 100 is 1 1% of 10 is 0.1 very minute differences at 100 yards our 177 will be traveling at 522 feet a second and getting us 4.8 foot-pounds of energy. Our 22 will be going 509 feet a second and taking 8.2 foot-pounds of energy. This is where that BC does start to gather a little bit more. Our 177 is now 2.6% faster. I had to read my handwriting there. 2.6% faster. That out of the way, let's swap over to our actual testing here. Paper stuff, it's easy to do paper stuff, but what you don't see a lot of people doing, we're going to shoot these into some gel blocks and actually see what the real world difference is. Both of these are hollow point pellets. Both of these are how I, myself, and others, you will commonly find shooting these calibers at said velocities. We'll get a shot at muzzle, we'll scoot back to 25 yards, we'll get a shot into the block at 25 yards, we'll compare, see any difference. Going off of our paper, 25 yards really did not show much difference than muzzle. Though it did allow both of them to slow down a good 100 feet a second. We'll, we'll just have to see. This first time I've ever shot either of these into ballistics gel. This is calibrated 10%. Alright. Fortunately, again, it looks like we lost that 22, so I'm going to give it another shot. We actually captured our 22. I know, our camera, you guys probably did not see a thing out of that. It, it is coming down out here right now. But I'll just, uh, let's see. I'm going to wipe that lens off. All right, did that bring back some picture for you guys? Hopefully, maybe. Our 177 caliber leading edge is around the 4 inch mark. Again, this is calibrated 10% ballistic scale. Our 2-2 went to six and a half, right there, a little over, so that's nine sixteenths. Get that rain out of my face and that way I can actually count this for you. Nine sixteenths, ten sixteenths, and Is that a nine or ten? We're going to call that six and five eighths of an inch. I do believe that is ten sixteenths. One, two. Uh, we'll, we'll call that six inches and five eighths.
All right, go back at the table here. Left column, 177. Right column, 22. Time. I actually got the camera settings right, so they should be very well nice and focused for you. Start our muzzle, 177. We saw 3 and 5 8 inches of penetration with an expansion of 0.194 inches. So, just shy of two hundredths of an inch of expansion. Air gun pellet, uh, I'll call that decent. Our 22, right hand side, we saw six and a half inches of penetration with an expansion of 0.221 inches. 22 pellets, however, whereas 177 actually does measure up to be 177. 22 pellets are a bit closer to 0.215. So, again, so about a hundred of an inch. A little less than that, actually, around six thousandths of an inch. A lot more than a little less. Six thousandths of an inch in expansion. So, it still did expand, just not nearly to the same percentage that 177 provided. However, we'll go out and say that even a muzzle expanding 177 did not match a bore pre-shot 2-2 pellet. Taking to our middle column right there. 25 yards, 177, we saw 3 and 3 quarters inch penetration. 1 eighth of an inch more than that muzzle. And providing that that is a slower pellet, if we look back at our velocity here, 25 yards is 756 feet a second versus muzzle being 872. That'll tell you the reason we got an eighth inch more penetration is it did not open up as much. And what was their expansion? 0.188 inches. We still got a hundredth of an inch over initial pre-shot diameter or bore diameter. So 25 yards, 177 across from Premier did still expand and our 22 on the right hand side right there we got six and one quarter inches of penetration we ended up losing a quarter inch over muzzle and our expansion diameter was 0.218 inches that's getting pretty close uh, we're roughly around three thousand head diameter expansion virtually nothing that, that means 25 yards or 22 caliber pellets really did not expand and her 25 yard velocity is 741 feet a second compared to her muzzle of 854 so take that if you're shooting this out of a brake barrel or perhaps lower out of a pcp and you're only running them at 750 feet a second or less, you're really not seeing any expansion out of 22. Whereas the 177 at the 750 feet a second mark still sees a little bit of expansion. And at our very bottom row here, starting with our 177 on the left, we saw 4 and 1 8 inch inches of penetration with a diameter of 1785 one thousandth of an inch expansion virtually no expansion that can vary between head diameter to head diameter in 177 really meaning we, we saw no expansion at 50 yards Go look at her 50 yard velocity reading from a chronograph. 
665 feet a second. What we learn, take, learn out of that is at least at 665 feet a second, impact velocity, you're not seeing any expansion out of the 177. However, it did penetrate the moat. Again, reason it penetrated the moat, there was no pen, uh, expansion to it. Well, as I was going over earlier, the wound channel size between 22 and 177, very negligible. Oh, a little bird came over to watch me. It, it, it's a very minute marginal difference in permanent cavitation. Unless you're out there with a micrometer, a pair of calipers, the wound track size almost irrelevant. So, if you want to take it that way, 177 actually increases in its lethality towards the game. The further out you shoot it, the slower you shoot it. Of course, to a degree, eventually, if you go slow enough, you'll start to see diminishing results. But this was my findings. Again, going from a muzzle velocity of 872 feet a second to a 50 yard impact of 665 feet a second. Our 22, on the other hand, we penetrated 6 and a quarter inches. The same penetration that we saw at 25 yards. This time, our head expansion was 0.215 bore diameter. That, that is a slug out of my armada. If I were to simply push a 22 pellet down through the bore, stick my calipers over, hit it three different spots, that is what I'd get, 0.215 inches. Meaning 50 yards with the 22, we also saw zero expansion, but we are two and one eighth inches more of penetration. Taking a look at 22 velocity, 652 feet a second at 50 yards, meaning around the 650 feet a second mark, 22 pellets cross the smears are not going to expand into soft medium. Uh, naturally, you hit a bone, you're shooting something a little bit bigger. Maybe you're going after like a fox or something, groundhog. Bone still would cause some form of expansion to happen, so our penetration levels would drastically reduce over slight games that have very thin bones. Muzzle, 854 feet a second. Impact, 652, 13 and a half foot pounds. Still, again, that is 73% more than what our 177 had in terms of energy at 50 yards. It, it almost followed perfectly, minus a couple percentage. Uh, we saw about 50% more penetration. And whenever you're just talking about raw diameter size, we're, we're off the top of my head, 75-ish percent larger diameter does not mean that the wound channel is 75 percent larger. Again, the gel block showed us that they are nearly identical. And if I was not visibly able to see the pellet, I would not have known the permanent cavity was a 17 or a 22 caliber. That though, that, that sums up our 177 versus 22 caliber test. We took them out to 50 yards today. I know some people will take 17, 22 out a lot further. 75, 100 yards. Based off of what I saw, I, I was thinking about it, but purely based from what I saw going out the 50 yards, 
25 yards was the real one for me. Uh, when I started thinking I knew what was going on, 50 yards guaranteed it. You're not going to see any expansion out 75 yards, 100 yards with with, with cross and premieres at least. Uh, can potentially test like your Predator Poly Mag. Uh, there, there's another one. It's got a little metal tip on it. Kind of. It's not like a silver tip or something. It's not called a Hornet. RWS, trying to think of what it's called. I see what fell over. Hold on, I'm gonna cut the video. Alright. Anyways, we're back now. Wrapping up what I was going over earlier. Wasn't really any purpose going past with the yards with either of these. The uh, expansion to velocity. Velocity slowed down enough. They no longer expand. You're just going to see more of what we saw here today at 50 yards. That is expansion. Can't go down anymore. It's going to stay baseline. And penetration will slowly start decreasing as velocity furthers to decrease. That is our wrap up today between 177 and 22 caliber Crossman Premier pellets. Hopefully you learned something, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.